Hello and thanks for joining me today. My name is Jody Curtis. I am a reverend and a teacher of the science of mental physics and today I'm here to show you a simple technique that can help you manifest just about anything you could wish to create in your reality. This is called the creative breath of the science of mental physics and if you'd like to learn more you can go to scienceofmentalphysics.com or initiategroupcourse.com and you'll find more out about Edwin J. Dingle, otherwise known as Ding LeMay, which means great man, who was the, the, the um, Englishman who brought the teachings to the West from Tibet in the 1920s. So this, is, uh, this breath is one in the, in the um, inner chamber teachings that you will learn that, as I mentioned, can help you manifest just about anything you would wish to create in your own reality. In mental physics, we say, whatever the creator is, I am in human form, differentiated from all other life forms in this universe. So given the fact that we are surrounded by and swimming in and made up of creative God source energy, we can take this energy and channel it through us and manifest in the physical 3D realm. So personally, I was able to practice this in the early days and win the Ellen DeGeneres Mother's Day show. So I just, it took maybe three times of five, no more than five minutes each of envisioning winning all the prizes, like $9,000 in prizes when I was pregnant with my daughter almost eight years ago. And lo and behold, the very next morning, the producer from the show called and told me that I had won. So it will be interesting to see what you can create uh, in your own world. And I would love to hear about it if you'd like to comment below. So for now, what we do is we breathe in and relax completely. And getting centered completely in our own being, being comfortable. If you're in the lotus position on the floor, that's excellent. You're in the sevenfold position. If you're sitting or standing, make sure your heels are touching. Sitting is really the best position for this, for this breath. And once you're centered and relaxed, you'll want to envision a whiteboard or maybe a black TV screen, a blank screen, a blank wall right out in front of you. And you want to use the power of your imagination to create anything that you wish to bring into your life. It could be anything. It could be a material item, a new car, uh, friendships. Um, it could be dropping an addiction or a pattern of behavior that no longer serves you. you, you would, in that case, you would just envision the new way of being. You would get a scene in your mind, an ideal scene exactly the way you would like to see it in your life. If you're manifesting a physical object or a trip, you'll want to envision yourself exploring the sights and enjoying the people and smelling the smells. And if you're imagining an object like a new car, you'll want to imagine yourself sitting in it and how your hand feels on the wheel. Anything you can do to make this vision a reality for you using all of your senses, feeling into it. Once you have your vision completely clear, you want to put your arms right out in front of you and you're going to want to grab a hold of that vision and pull it in as you breathe in at the same time. And you're going to breathe all the way in so your arms come all the way back behind under your armpits, as far back as you could pull them and then relaxing right down. Then again, bringing your arms out in front to grab that vision and pulling it into you all the way in. Armpits, putting your arms right under your armpits like that and exhaling. You could do this as often as you like for as many different things as you wish to create and then just sit back and watch it unfold in your life. I do have a word of caution, and that is to be very certain about the things that you are wishing to bring in because this breath and your imagination, the power of your mind, is incredibly powerful. 
so use it wisely. Thanks for watching.